What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. I gotta show you something pretty impressive right now. This is like really impressive. No, it's not Tarzan's old Gant Brook leg. <laughs> Just look at the inside of the truck. And we still have to fit Luke and Jake in here. But look at this. I don't know if it's all gonna make it to hunting camp or not. Maximum capacity, Tarzan just said. We got crawfish traps, we got some corn, we got our gator coolers, and if any of you guys are looking for a new cooler, I haven't shouted them out in a while. These coolers are amazing. You can get an awesome top on them. We've got a gas can, which we gotta fill up. We got crutches for Tarzan, cause he broke his leg. We got Jake's AR-22. We've got my new awesome 10 point crossbow. We got my cameras, some Mountain Dew, tortillas. I can't forget that. We got some Sinaway deodorant, Biofreeze. Are you coming or not? There's not even any room for Redneck, unfortunately. Redneck, you're gonna have to go to Miss George and Leon's. Son, can we talk about getting this party on the road or what? When he gets done eating that chicken, this truck, these three boys and myself are headed to Ona, Florida, back to our hunting camp. Well, we're gonna cut some swamp cabbage. We're gonna set some crawfish traps. We're gonna hopefully shoot a deer. We're definitely gonna shoot some hogs and y'all riding shotgun. This will be interesting though. So the fun fact about this, you see that scooter right there? Last year, Mr. Trevor fell out of his tree stand and broke his leg or shattered his foot really. And he had to ride around on one of these scooters the entire hunting season. I must have heard, grab me a beer, get me a drink, can you walk me to the bathroom nine million times. So this year I was super excited to not have to do that. And then out of nowhere, Tarzan has to fall on his pool patio while setting up a BB gun target and shattered his foot. So now I gotta carry him on my shoulders everywhere we go. But he's gonna be a lot lighter than Trevor was last year, so that's a good thing. All right, we're gonna get this party started. Two and a half hour ride. I think we have everything. I think as soon as Luke gets done, we can go. Can I have some nuts? Luke, what you eating back there? Chips, I got one in my pants that fell. It my fell? Pants. How does a chip <laughs> fall in your pants? Like there's like this right here that it fell in there. So we've been driving for, I don't know, right at two hours and we had to stop and take a snack break. I wanna know from y'all, what's your favorite snack when you're riding in a truck? Right there, folks at home, right there. What you got? Cheetos and just Milky Way. Uh-oh, and we got the Twix. What you like, Tarzan? Um, I'm trying to think, goldfish? Yeah, this goldfish good. and um, probably a Milky Way. Yeah, Milky Way is good. Can't beat a Milky Way. Y'all, get in the comments, tell us what's your favorite snack. We're only about 10 minutes away now, thank God. We're running late, it's four o'clock and we're pretty much gonna have to get here and throw everything out of the truck as fast as we can to go put Tarzan and Jake on a stand that I have that a bunch of hogs are breaking into the area that we built to keep them out of the Probably. feeder. So, as long as Abram doesn't uh, <coughs> miss again. <laughs> he didn't miss. I hit the hog, but not in the right spot. Not in the right spot. Well, we should things. have a wild boar down before dark. Me, Luke, and our friend Adam from Wyoming are taking the side by side and we're gonna go put some corn out and get everything freshened up for the weekend hunt. So that's it. Look at him. He's already sitting on his booty. We got the side by side pulled out. We got gas put in it. The boys are in here getting dressed and we're in a rush. We're trying to get to the stand. So hopefully Jake and Tarzan can kill a hog. Aren't you happy I brought clothes? Yes. You tricked me in the car and said that I don't got any clothes. <laughs> So as you can see in the truck, Jake, uh, Luke didn't have a shirt on and he said, did you pack me clothes? And I said, no, I didn't pack you any clothes. Jake said that all of this clothes is mine. He was not happy. So anyhow, we're gonna haul boogie. Don't worry about camp. You're gonna see it all weekend long. I'm making one long, cool vlog slash catch, clean and cook of our entire weekend. So we're gonna get quiet, get out there, get them put in their stands. Luke and I are gonna come back, build a fire, get ready to cook dinner and start over in the morning because in the morning we're going to tree stands and I'm going to bring you along with that.
So Luke and I have been back to camp for, I don't know, hour and a half. And one of the more entertaining things I've had to watch in a while is Luke over here chopping wood with a new ax that my mom got him. Now here's a story about my mother. She let us kids do anything that we wanted to do. She never questioned anything. My kids and Robert's kids and Aubrey's kids, they gotta wear helmets when they're on a bike. They, oh, they gotta wear their seatbelt and they need life jackets. But she buys my kid an ax, a razor sharp ax, where he's more than likely gonna cut his toes off because he doesn't wear shoes like me. And she bought him this one. And I sleep naked like dad. You sleep naked like dad. That's a little bit too much uh, for the audience, the viewers. You know, sometimes you got to leave things out. I guarantee you, somebody watching this just spit their drink out or choked on some food with what he just said. A little bit of too much information there, folks at home. So Jake and Tarzan are out there. They've got a bunch of does around them right now. Adam and Jess just shot at a buck three times with muzzleloaders and missed him and said he didn't even pick his head up. He never even stopped feeding on the corn. So I'm just enjoying some peaceful time with Luke. It's quiet. He's doing what little boys do. And as soon as it gets dark, we're going to go get the other boys. Luke, Luke, Luke. Shh. fall down we heard it we heard crash. it jump up and just start loud like crash all right it jumped up and then the jake come out and give tarzan his his crutches so you think you hit him or what i'm sure i hit him we heard all the while well, all the other hogs are running you just hear a crash huh. and the palmettos or whatever you fell down all right, well, we're about to go find out if you hit him. Where was he standing? Right over there. He was a little bit up way. A little bit which way? The way you're going. Right Hold on, I'll show you the feeder, or I'll show you the... This could be interesting. So you see your blind? Oh yeah. Which way did that big tree you think he was? Oh, he was like standing right here. Okay. Hmm. All right, y'all just stay there so I can try to find some blood. He didn't squeal? Mm -hmm. You might've missed him. All right, so we found our first speck of blood. Where? Right there. See it? Oh. Now we're gonna walk really slowly and we're not gonna get ahead of ourselves. There's a speck right there. Tarzan, you can drive the side by side over here. There, see that, Jake? Oh, that's a lot. Now don't get ahead of yourself. You gotta go one drop at a time. We had it to kill this thing. Adam just pulled up with Rip, his little dog. We got blood, but we don't know which way it went. Now, I would push the issue more if I had to, but since he has Rip here, we're going to let Rip do it. Jake, stay still. There's blood, but it ended at somewhere over there. Here he goes. He's it's like, man, that don't, sound, that don't smell like a mountain lion. Oh, there's a speck of blood right there. Right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's some right there. He seems pretty confident. There's more blood right here. No, blood right here. I don't think, the, yeah, he's he's going towards you now. See all the blood? Oh. We just barely missed the blood trail. That's why you gotta be patient. Oh yeah, it's everywhere. I don't know how this hogs did this with the, with the um, caliber he shot him with. I think we found him. Oh, here, yeah, here he is. Abram, drive over here. He killed his. You, you find that son of a bitch. We were just, we were waiting on you. Oh. Good boy, Rip. Good boy. Oh, Lee, he shot him perfect too. Yeah, he... 
Good boy, Rip. You got him, son. Right where you were supposed to shoot him. Look at, he's over here hobbing along in his cast. Congratulations. Thank you. you Thank you. Uh, hey, some of you want to cook food for dad? We can go get the meat and cook it over the fire. Goody. All right, we'll see y'all back at camp. So we all hunted this morning. Didn't hardly see anything. The boys saw one doe right at daylight. Obviously, Abram got a nice, beautiful hog last night. We're going to go put the crawfish traps out before the evening hunt. Because I have a feeling somebody's going to shoot something tonight. My mother showed up. My dad's in the camper. I think they came to check on us to make sure we were not into any crazy shenanigans. Now we got to go figure out somewhere to put these. Three, four weeks ago, this place was two foot underwater. And now there's only a little bit of standing water. I know with crawfish, anytime you're crawfishing, you want the water to be high because when it goes low, the crawfish bury back into the ground. But we might catch a eel, we might catch crawfish, you never know. I think we will catch something though. tell y'all pre-hurricane these were some of the prettiest woods I've ever been in in my life after the hurricane it's a little bit ugly now there's trees down everywhere gonna put one here but it's not even any water there now we're on a big sandy ridge and this water drops really quick it absorbs into the ground in no time at all Water in the middle of that trail is a lot deeper than where it is right now so I'm gonna set one of these traps and do a drive-by and just throw it out so we're just taking some regular cat food poking some holes in it we're gonna drop it in the trap actually going to put a couple right here. We got these traps in Louisiana. A guy made them for us. They are so nice. Here comes the rain, too. Hopefully it goes ahead and goes by. It looks like it's going to come in spurts. Got a little band right here to keep the lid closed. Liquids in here, the oils can 
seek through. Normally I would tie them to a tree if I was in a bigger canal. There's nothing going to take them away here. Luke, take that one and go throw it. Don't throw it right in the middle of the trail. Man, this water is shallow. That's all right. Go take that one and put it on the other side of that log in the deepest spot. Throw it right over there in that deep spot. Oh, I'm going to have to bring it out a little bit. I don't want it all the way under the water. That's all we need right there for the eels to be able to breathe. Now, if you follow along my channel very much and you watch, I think two or three videos ago, this is where the giant alligator was crossing the road. And just less than three weeks ago, the water was up about this high. This road was perfectly flat and you can see that dip. There was a culvert there. It's now way over there in the woods. Where are you gonna put it, Jake? Right here? Right here. Hopefully it's not too deep here. Hopefully touching the eel. Like yeah, this is where the eel was crossing the road. I forgot about that. Chunk it. Just go down there and get on the water's edge and pull it just to where it can, just a teeny bit of the corners out. I think. Luke, come here. There's a dinosaur bone right here. Oh, there's some current flowing right here. We'll definitely catch something in this one. Oh, that sounded creepy. I wish I had a weight to put on this one because a coon could possibly grab it and tote it off. Now there's not enough water here, Jake. Bring it over here. Let's go over here and watch for snakes. This looks like cottonmouth heaven. Look at all the hog rooting. They've been destroying this place. Oh yeah, there's plenty right here, Jake. Go right under this fence and put it right over there. Right there. Perfect. All right, it's time to go hunting. Dad's gonna sit with Luke. Abram and Jake are gonna sit together. And I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. We were gonna put them in a bunch of tree stands all individually. But now there's rain coming, so I gotta put them in ground blinds. What is that, Grandma? It, it's a spaceship. Luke, did you see this spaceship Grandma found? <laughs> yeah, I picked it up. definitely something harvested yesterday evening. I ain't gonna tell you who yet. It could have been Abram, it could have been Jake, it could have been Luke, it could have been me. What about me? Could have been, you were sitting, well, I guess you could have shot one off the porch at camp, yeah. but anyhow, we're here to pull 
the traps to see what's in them. And when we get back to camp, the kids want to take some pond prawns, sharpen them, and cook some deer meat on an open fire. Right now, though, we got to see what we got. Oh, there's a big heron. The water's dropping fast. That trap was not that far out of the water last night. Unless the current pulled it out. Ooh, we got some fish. Got dead. Yeah. Well, I don't even know what kind of fish a couple of those are. Oh, it's, what is that? I don't know. It looks like some kind of like aquarium. Yes. What is that thing right there? We're gonna have to put that in the bucket. Here, Tarzan. Y'all, I feel bad right now because obviously you know Tarzan's legs broke. He would normally be participating, helping Jake and Luke, but he's gimpy today. Here, let's get some good, put them back in. I wanna get some good clean water. Luke, hold on. There's alligators in this water. You know that already. Literally, it's like a deep hole right there. It gets deep. He's fine. Allig he's so mean, an alligator will spit him out. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a tank. We have that tank. We can make a freshwater aquarium. It's already it. It has fish. Hold on, we'll show everybody once we get to a good spot. We got to keep going Wait. because we don't have a bubbler to keep all these fish alive. Remember the trap over here? Go get it. I should just push you. <laughs> Come on, pick it up. It gets super deep. Jake, go ahead and take the can out of it and put it in the gray bucket. Oh, we got. <gasps> We got our first eel. Jeez. We got an eel. Come on. Like Here, I'll carry the trap so you don't fall. Come on. Our first one of the day. Oh, so Have you seen one of these, Abram? No. So I want to do this in here. Come on, Luke. Come jump in the back. These eels are so... <laughs> My mom loves snakes, so she's super excited when we get something that resembles one. Listen, we can just like stick him on a steak and just barbecue him whole. Man, look at the slime. That Hopefully, came he doesn't him. like bite the cool looking. No, he's not biting anything. I'm telling you, if you want to get these Is traps, you can get them on Amazon. Not this exact kind, but you can get some that are almost just as good off of Amazon. Come do this with your kids and have Ooh. the time of your life. We're probably gonna get a turtle in the next trap. Oh, they're slimy. Yeah, oh, I, was... I hope we get a turtle. All right, y'all gonna ride back there to, one of y'all ride back there to make sure the bucket doesn't turn over. Okay, Mom, you better have that rifle ready in case a deer jumps. We jumped one yesterday. We did jump one, but we didn't get a shot at it. I about lost my sandals. I will say, hunting videos with this many kids when I'm the only one putting them out and picking them up, it's definitely challenging, to say the least. I'm forgetful myself. Add three more forgetful people into the list. Abram forgot his crutches. He forgot his phone. He forgot the tripod. tripod. Chairs. Chairs. I didn't forget. Jake forgot chairs. Hey, I, I was sitting in the ground line with changed the plants like as we left. You alright mom? Yes. We're all forgetful but we're trying to teach these kids to get their things in order. For all you mom and dads who take your kids out, y'all know the... Is that a whole thing? It takes a village to raise yeah. them and teach them. It takes a village except for until my mom and dad got here yesterday all I had was me. I didn't have a village. I had a village of kids but that's it. Go 
We'll get that far one and me and Luke will get this one. Come on, Luke. Nada. What? I didn't have real, real high hopes about this one, okay, to be honest with you. that one over there, I feel like. All right, we'll go get it. Come on, me and you will go get this one over here while Jake's getting that one. For all y'all worried about snakes, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? He bites you? I don't even think about snakes when I'm out here. I hope we get a turtle. I don't know if a turtle can get in there. Oh, we got one fish. One fish, what is it? I don't know, some kind of blue gill or something. That's a war mouth. War mouth. All right, go. Come on. We got a war mouth. So I actually want to take these fish and that eel and put them in another body of water because all of this water will be gone soon. And then they would just be blue heron food. So we're not actually keeping anything. We're just transporting them to the same property, but a different piece of water. One thing I do recommend when you're doing this is bring something to put these cans of. Son, you got to open it first. You want to bring something to put the cans of cat food in because it it will get pretty smelly. Then close your traps up. You find it yet, Jake? No. It's there. Dad, I haven't seen the coal fish yet. If there's a gator, just. Punch him in the head. This is probably one of Oh, this cat food gets ripe. Oh, that's perfect. Heck, we've caught about everything now. I wish we would have brought a bubbler because we'd need a big crawdad for the tank. Two of them. Oh, one's getting out. Luke, we got crawdads. Oh gosh, I just stepped on something sharp. Oh, those are some big ones. Oh man, they are big. Now when this water was all out in the woods really flooded, you could have put these crawfish traps out there and would have caught a lot more when they come up out of their holes. Look, let me see your ear. No, 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 no. Oh, that one would hurt. Watch out, Luke. Now, there definitely could be a big gator there. Just reach down and pay attention. This would be the only place he could lay. Look, look, look. Dang it, I had high hopes for this one. All right, well, we still got this one over here. We got one more over there, too. Look, you can see middles and stuff. Where do you want me to put this strap at? Oh, there's an eel. Oh, gosh, a great big one. Two eels. Luke, set that one down. Put him back in the water for just a second. Let's go check this far one over here. Set yours down, Luke. Come on. This might be the only place I'd be worried about a cottonmouth. Nothing. Dang. Well, at least we got some cool things to look at. Come on, slide under here. Come on, carry your trap. I guess it's just a bunch of minnows and they get through the holes in the trap. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you have a hunting camp and there's any water nearby and you have kids and you take them to hunting camp with you, get some traps like these. Because during the day when the deer aren't moving, you can come do this. You can put them out yesterday just like we did and pull them the next day. And it doesn't bother the hunting at all. And it gives your kids something extra to look forward to.
Oh gosh, these things are nasty. Oh, they're squirmy and slimy. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Now you're going to have a little titty baby. Jeez. Look, you're not supposed to talk like that. that you can thank Grandpa for teaching him that. And my two older brothers always tell y'all don't know this or some of you do I'm the youngest of three boys and if you wonder why I can be hard sometimes it's because I am the youngest I had to like fight for my food or I'd have starved it was bad growing up wasn't it mom it was really tough <laughs> That's what we here in Florida call a cow pond. And they dig them out in, these, in the middle of these big open pastures so the cows have something to drink. They will never go dry. The cowboys won't let them go dry. So we can turn these eels and the crawdads and all these little fish loose in here. They don't have to worry about anything. They'll always have water. We got to show them the cool fish that we've yet to show them. Mm -hmm. He is a trooper, folks, at home. He's been hunting for the last two days. Dealing with, he cannot put any weight on that one foot. Look at the eels. Let's turn the eels loose first to make sure that they don't die. Okay. So, it's like they have little legs, kind of, and they can move on the ground really easily. And they're really slimy. All right, turn him loose. Okay. See ya. Or I guess you He'll go. Yeah. Come on, buddy. They're blind, and I'm pretty sure they move around mostly at night. Mm -hmm. So we should probably put, put him right over there. here in these bushes so he, he's more comfortable. Yeah, there you go. Yours already got away? Yeah. All right, let's get this cool fish out. The cool fish. I don't know where he's at or which one he is, but let's see. That's just a uh, tilapia. Little tilapia? That cool spotted fish. That's Reach in there it. and try to find him. Use both hands. Oh, Ooh, Ooh. that's a crawdad. Ooh. <laughs> ah, heck no. See, you, buddy. Oh, that's, oh, that's that him. is oh, him right is. there. What is that? Oh, I had this exact fish in my fish tank. It's some kind of like African how, cichlid. How did he get out here though? Is this a warm mouth? His mouth is like really. Somebody big. leave a comment below and tell us what this is. It's a pretty neat looking fish. Think, this is a warm mouth. I'm oh, yeah, that's a def this is a native fish. That's it folks, everything's been turned loose. Now it's time to go show y'all a deer hunt and we're gonna cook some deer meat. Jake, go stand next to that stump to give him an idea how big it is. All right, I'll race you back to camp. Look at this, it was a big giant split. That was the only tree I couldn't cut all the way through the trunk. That was a big one. How old do you think that tree was, Mom? 200 years old. Man, it's, it's amazing how a tree can stand there for at least 150, 200 years and then a storm come and just blow it down. That's nature. I win. <laughs> you won. Uh huh. Dad, have you been holding down the deck or what? Yep. I got it under control. All right, we're going to get the deer meat out. The fire's been rolling, so we got some good coals. We got to cut some palm prom sticks and we're going to cook some deer meat. But first, let me show you who killed the deer. I'm up to bat. I dropped Dad and Luke off. I dropped Jake off at a stand, Tarzan at a stand, and then I finally got to my stand. And as luck will have it. And we get half credit. We cleaned it. Yep, the boys did. <laughs> that deer 
snuck up on me. Oh, this gun kicked the ass out of me. Oh, I got him with the muzzle loader. My son Jake shot a buck a little while ago, and he said it knocked it down, but he got up and run off, so fingers crossed we can find him. Tarzan's got two deer in front of him, and my dad and Luke. They haven't seen anything yet. So that's the tree I was sitting in. I'm going to go retrieve my buck because my dad and Luke are just around the corner. And I don't want to... Oh my lord, the blood. Oh, I can't even show you what's right under my feet right now. I don't want to crank the side-by-side -side up yet. But I want to go get him and drag him onto the side of the fence that the side-by-side's on. I, I literally turned around and the buck was there, trotting right past me, so. Last place I saw him was right up here. There's blood all over the ground. gonna be right here somewhere. He was going down when I lost sight of him. Oh, there's deer right there. Right there, folks at home, folks at home. We got us a white-tailed deer. We got dad's back strap from his deer, and we got a Danko knife, Lowry's garlic salt, ground black pepper, and Everglades cactus dust. Sort of like skinning a fish. Cut down the middle, and then come to the side, and hold on to this tightly, and just cut. It's actually my first time doing this, so. He just got directions from Grandma. But y'all did cook deer meat like this the last time we were here. Yeah, and it was good. That's perfect. We can we can take the little bit that you missed right here and fry it later. Okay. Let's take this, put it back in the cooler, cut that up in two chunks, because y'all are going to have a cook-off on a pond front. We need a rematch. All right. The whole cooler's full of meat. So these are just pond prawns that we do marshmallows on or whatever else you want. We just whittle them down on the one end and we're going to walk over and put them on the open fire. So you're going with the, you're going to pat the seasoning into the meat. Mm -hmm. Probably haven't washed your hands in two days. Oh yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely you haven't or definitely you have? Definitely we haven't. We haven't. All right. Brown pepper. This should be interesting. Jake's going with the more subtle approach. Abram's going with the more just dump it on approach. There we go. You're right. The sun don't come up. Okay. Time for the cactus dust. Wipe it off on your pants. <laughs> no big deal. No need to use the paper towels that are right behind you. Now that cactus dust is really good. We used that last time we cooked on the fire. Now but we put it on afterwards. It fire. Your crutches are right there. I don't know how you're going to use your crutches and carry your stick though. Hold it in your mat. Oh, there. Don't clothesline yourself as you go by. Dang. That's, okay, just a tad bit more going. Are, Are you serious? We're going with more seasonings? You can never have too much flavor. Okay, we're done with that. All right, we'll meet you at the fire because Tarzan's already, he's in the lead and he's got crutches. So I don't know what to tell you. I'll catch up. 
What if you got a sand spur and you're only one good foot? That one sucks. I'll make it a And the race is on. <laughs> this is actually pretty entertaining, Mom. Now, if y'all are wondering where Luke's at, unfortunately for Luke, he decided he was going to stop listening this morning, and I'm not putting up with that. I asked him to do one thing after a whole weekend of spoiling him, and he decided to say no, so Luke's in trouble. Let me go show you what Luke's doing. If my dad's in here spoiling him, I will be so mad. Nope. Why aren't you out there cooking with us? I don't know. Because you got your butt in trouble. So I made him write me an apology letter four times. You better hurry up, because when you get done with the fourth one, you can come out. Hey, I will never, ever be sensitive to a kid that's not listening. I am a good dad. I just wasn't putting up with him not listening. All weekend, we've been having a blast. For some reason, he decided, nope, he wasn't going to listen anymore. So, he just had to have some tough love. All right, what's the verdict? I think ours are about done. Mine's a nice medium rare. Looks really good. Hold on. Let me see. How's your mouth? Tarzan, you better be good. I got the juice drip pouring out of mine. Yours got, is thicker. Mine, Take a bite, Jake. Juice is, okay. That's pretty dang good. That's so good. Uh huh. That's good? Let me see. Mine might be a little. Oh, that stick's hot. Mm, mm, mm. I don't think there's a better way to cook deer meat. Grandma? Yeah. You gotta come try their meat. Man, that's good. And that deer, I knew when I saw him coming, he was tender. If he wasn't tender, I'd have let him walk. I sat there and tenderized him. <laughs> we might need to cut. Let's go get a plate and cut it up. I'll get it. No, y'all take it over to the picnic table, cut it up, so each one of you have your own plate. And then give Luke a stick, because Luke wants to cook a piece. Okay, here, look at how much it is. five. Woo! He's sour, folks, at home. Cut Grandpa off a piece of that and let him try it. Oh, my goodness, that's so tender. Man. This is... That's a little piece of wood. Oh. Did you just fall? Uh-uh. That's pretty good. It's tender too. That's Surprised good. me. Yeah, I was smacking it. Here, just pull on it, Mom. Sorry for the angles, folks. I'm trying to film, pay attention. Here, Gable, get a piece of this raw one. You like you like the raw. This was you raw. can eat deer meat really rare. It's good. Mmm. You know, Trey, you can get a piece of mine, and I can get a piece of yours just to try it. Oh man. Oh, delicious. What y'all just put it over the fire and hold it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd have to say it's a tie, only because y'all use the same seasoning, the same piece of meat. Now we need to let Luke have a piece and let him cook. Luke, come here. Come get you a stick and get you a piece of meat. That's flat ass good. <laughs> All right, folks at home, that's it. It's been a long weekend. We got to pack up. We got to clean up. We got to head home. Tomorrow I'm headed to St. Pete. I'm going out fishing for hogfish in the Gulf of Mexico. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.